I wasn't expecting to hear the news so quickly. I was playing football, ripe old age of 51, uh, but still very mobile, still very fit. Um, I'm Anthony Walsh. Um, I'm married with a wonderful wife and two beautiful children. And as of May this year, I was diagnosed with MND. Even at the time when I was given the diagnosis, I still couldn't truly believe that uh, it was MND. From playing football to being in a wheelchair within three months, it's been very, very hard to, to, to cope with really because it means that I've lost my mobility, I have to be dependent on others, which is not the sort of person I was. I was very, very independent. I'm very, very fortunate, you know, that I have such a wonderful family, uh, some, some very loving friends and a support network. I mean, I'm one of eight children, so each individual is impacted by this disease in different ways. And you don't know whether you're one of the luckier ones where the, 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 the prognosis is going to be a longer term. It's, um, it's a tough illness to deal with. And the only thing that we can do is to stay positive and find solutions to everything that is thrown at you. HSR is a service robot that can assist people uh, at home as well as in working environments. The Toyota HSR is equipped with a wide variety of cameras and sensors. It can grab objects, and it can interact with humans, it can navigate in human environments. Our lab uh, received this robot from uh, Toyota Europe uh, in order to do research. Our research focuses on the development of algorithms for enabling HSR to learn how to interact um, and also how to perceive humans. This will be the first time the HSR is tested in a UK home setting. It, it just makes me feel great because I can see the robot perform and, and through that I feel like I am helping people. Hello everyone. But the difference is, is that people have got to live their lives around you. Until you're actually um, faced with certain situations, you, you don't really think about them. But things like reaching to pick up uh, tissues, open the fridge and get something from the shelf, it gives you back a little bit of your independence. It would actually free up time for other people to, to not always be at your beck and call and uh, to have some of their own time back, you know. It can relieve a lot of stress in the, uh, in the family situation. Yeah. There's always room for technology going forward that can help further. Particularly for people that maybe don't have the same support network as I do. That, I think, could be a, a, a place where this robot could come in, where it could actually be there to, to sort of help people in, in different ways with their day-to-day -day life. Can it sing? Can I don't know, can it sing? There's a possibility uh, that I might lose my voice. Richard von MNDA, he came down and um, done the voice banking with me. <laughs> Which is amazing because the fear is, is that uh, at some point or another, I may or may not lose my voice. To have that peace of mind that your voice has been saved. They can definitely say <laughs> the, the children will be hearing my voice, even if the worst should happen. You want to send your own message to yourself? Yes. Yeah? What would you say? Certainly you're a good boy. Um, my, my hopes for the future is that they find a cure for MND and, you know, that nobody has to go through and, and suffer this disease, you know, ever again. You know, that, that, that's the ultimate. Um, and I do hope, I, I'd still live in hope. I've got a positive attitude to what I said. And no matter what's thrown at you, just get up and fight. I fight for my children every day. Um, that keeps me positive because I'm not ready to give up on them. <laughs>